So we are unboxing the Transformers Generations Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection 2-Pack Master Dominus G2 Universe Leadfoot. For this review, we will only be focusing on the G2 Universe Leadfoot. Uh, if you want to see my review of Master Dominus, I will put a link in the description box below. So no Master Dominus today. And the reason being is I picked up this set, or at least this figure, the Leadfoot figure, from Miko. He's a fellow uh, Transformers collector out here in the local community here in Manila. And he was just interested with Master Dominus. He didn't really need Leadfoot, so he posted it and I said, yeah, okay, I'll get it. It was actually selling for a good price. Uh, it was a little under $30 shipped. So big thanks to Miko for this Leadfoot figure. So let's see what we got inside. So obviously there's not gonna be any Master Dominus here. It's gonna be Leadfoot. And a bunch of other stuff, I suppose. Okay, so. Okay, we got cardboard. We got more cardboard. This is a, what is this? Part of the hammer? Or the base of the hammer, I should say. The wrecker hammer. So, more, okay. All right. We got his uh, blaster and his rocket launcher with a removable rocket done in this really nice uh, deep metallic blue paint. Okay, very cool. And then we have Leadfoot, G2 Leadfoot. I mean, look at the colors in this guy. And here is G2 Leadfoot out of packaging. And you know, you'd think the colors would, would turn out corny, but they actually turn it, turned out great. I love this really deep metallic blue finish. It's, it's not molded plastic. They really painted that yellow plastic and I thought it came out, it came out beautifully. Uh, he's got this really nice, it's, it looks very premium. It doesn't look cheap at all. It's a, it's a banana yellow type of plastic. It's, it's a deep kind of yellow. It's not, it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. The head is, I think they molded it I think it's yellow plastic, but they painted it with a deeper shade of yellow. It's a very glossy yellow finish. It, the head sculpt's just painted everywhere. Uh, he's got a red visor, I should say, uh, painted also. Very nice. It feels very premium. He's got the uh, Wreckers uh, faction symbol right there. Number 93. Some red highlights here and there. It really reflects the old G2 or Generations 2 uh, Leadfoot that turned also in race car. It was a little bit a smaller figure, I believe, and had a helicopter propeller or something like that as an accessory. So very premium looking figure. I'm very surprised at how well this figure turned out. So his weapons can fit on either hand. And then this one, it should, there's no port or peg for his rocket launcher so he's gonna have to hold it or i guess he can peg it can he yeah i guess this is the only place he can store it but that's that's it uh or here and then he could yeah it could somehow be a rocket launcher on his shoulder shoulder cannon but it's a shame that there's no peg hold so let's transform him into his car mode. Unpeg this back part right here. And the arms are going to lift up like this. The shoulders, I should say. And the wheels are gonna pop out right here. This is, it feels like this one is going to be the front part of the car, but it's not. This is a fake car bit. It's just to form his chest. The front part of the car is, are really here on the legs. Uh, so this is this is kind of a fake out. So it's actually the bottom of the car Okay, and then you want to go ahead and fold up hide that head sculpt Okay, there and Lock that head in place Go ahead and untab the waist piece And then the shoulders I'm gonna transform right here and we'll, we'll just let them sit right there fold the fists
fold these pieces right here. Then you want to rotate the thighs, the feet, you want to fold in, and that front part of the leg, they're going to just slide up right here. You're going to slide up. And it'd be much easier to transform now, but. Huh. Okay. And then fold out these wheels, combine the upper legs. Okay. Combine. Okay. Get the arms. And fold down. Close in on those legs to form the back part of the cockpit. And these pieces right here. Okay. Okay. And there you have uh, Leadfoot in his really nice F1 or F3 alt mode, race car alt mode. The colors really work. The whole yellow uh, plastic just in the middle and it's sandwiched by this deep blue purple. Some nice painted rims. Overall, it is a fantastic looking alt mode. Now the weapons, they can sit here if you, if you want them to. Sure, but uh, it'll ruin the silhouette of the vehicle. So we'll put the weapons off to the side. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool race car alt mode. It rolls very smooth, extremely smooth. Look at that. It's a very, very solid configuration, very solid transformation, hardly any gaps. Uh, robot pieces are just really compressed beautifully, very nicely, very efficiently. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous looking alt mode. And so some final thoughts on this Legacy G2 Universe Leadfoot. I absolutely love the figure. I was blown away by this recolor. I thought the paint apps, the paint job was absolutely fantastic. Really nice metallic highlights here and there. Uh, combined with the really uh, very, very good quality of plastic that they used for this figure, yellow plastic, gives this figure a very, very premium uh, feel to it. And I really like it. The figure is going to get a nine and a half out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this Transformers Generations Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Deluxe Class G2 Universe Leadfoot. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.